Welcome back hunters, Sky Sensei here with another Monster Hunter video. Today we're looking at the new skill Heaven Sent, a new specific skill from the Amatsu armor and holy moly, it is amazing. So in this video I will discuss the skill and then I'll recommend build options that you guys can make right now at the start of Title Update 5. Now just to be clear, Title Update 5 did come with a raise to the Anomaly Research level cap. It is now 300 and we do get some new jewels after level 241. I am not there yet so I will release a future builds video later this week with those final jewels included. So this video is just for those who haven't reached that level either. I do apologize for this but thank you for understanding because the anomaly grind is insane. But for today I really wanted to talk about the skill heaven sent because I think it complements insect glaive really well. So with that let's grab a wire bug and head on out. So heaven sent is a skill that rewards you for basically knowing a monster really well. If you do not take damage for 15 seconds, the skill activates indefinitely until you get hit or move too far away from a monster, aka they move regions or you leave the battle area. At level 1, this skill is not really worth for most blade weapons, but level 3 is where it's at. Level 3 grants you complete nullification of stamina and sharpness consumption. That's right, both of them are nullified entirely. This means you can attack as much as you want and move as much as you want and nothing will happen. That's literally it. There's no downside other than the fact that you just can't get hit. If you do, you just get back up and you gotta wait another 15 seconds without taking damage to activate the skill again. The best part of this skill is that it's also not tied to your health. So it works with any skill that still hurts you like Bloodlust or Dereliction that gives you that bonus damage. As long as you don't get hit physically by the monster, this skill remains active. So this is huge for Insect Glaive users, Dual Blades, and probably Bow as well. It is a godsend skill if you can dodge monsters well. The other perk of this skill is that even if you get hit while Heaven Scent is active, the damage you take from that first hit is reduced. Any follow up attacks though will hurt the regular amount, but the first one is reduced and then you can use that time to recover and get ready to activate this skill again. So this skill is definitely worth using in my opinion, it frees up a couple of jewel slots since you no longer need to worry about sharpness like handicraft, master touch, for any other weapons that use stamina skills you don't need those either. For insect glaive users specifically, I highly recommend it as it allows you to free up some extra slots, add in some quality of life skills like power prolonger to boost your kinsect buff uptime. For insect glaive users specifically, in terms of action, this skill really shines when you combine it with the kinsect slash. Because of that infinite stamina and sharpness, you can just go berserk with Kinsec Slash. As you know, Kinsec Slash deals really good damage, but one of the cons of the skill was always the increased stamina consumption. Before you would attack and dodge repeatedly, you would lose a lot of stamina and you would drop to the ground much faster. With Heaven Sent, you can alternate between damaging and aerial dodges to avoid the monster attack, maintain Heaven Sent and maintain your stamina and then do some more damage. So this skill is just absolutely amazing for Insect Glaive. It feels like we've gotten an enormous buff all at once because of the skill and I'm all for it. Now before we talk about the build, I want to mention that this new skill, I changed up my red scroll to add Kinsect Slash back in, but I still have the Awakened Kinsect Attack on my blue scroll. Awakened Kinsect Attacks also got a buff with the new Rampage Jewel Deco, Supercharge. If you aren't aware of this, I recommend you check out my previous video, but essentially this jewel buffs your Kinsect damage, including the Awakened Kinsect attack. Now unfortunately, Mail of Hellfire doesn't affect Awakened Kinsect Slash, so I've kept it on my blue scroll, and I maintain Diving Wyvern on my red scroll that does get a boost of damage from Mail of Hellfire. Alright, let's talk about the build. As I mentioned in my previous video, I want to give you guys skeleton builds. I know Quarrier Crafting makes things very complex and very hard to replicate, but this is just something that you guys can work towards and then add or change based on your Quario Crafts. However, for this video particularly, I'm only going to show a build without Quario Crafting. Since Title Update 5 came with some new level 4 jewels, those are locked behind the high level anomaly quests, so I'll focus on unlocking those first. Then I'll do my Quario Crafts and recommend a more enhanced and complete build in my next video. Quite honestly though, this build is really great even without Quario Crafting and it's more than enough for you guys to do your anomaly ranking. So if you do some Quario Crafting with this build, you can always just adjust it, throw around some jewels. Just keep in mind when you reach level 241 for anomaly, you will get some new jewels and you'll have to change it up again. So the armor that we're running is the Lucent Narga Helm, Amatsu Chest, Arm and Legs, and the Scorn Magnamala Waist. 
In terms of skills, this set alone already basically fits everything you need. Crit rate is actually overpowered, it's like 105. 50% from Wex, 15% from Agitator when monsters are enraged, 20% comes from Bloodlust when you cleanse yourself, and then an extra 20% comes from Maximum Might Jewel 4. The Maximum Might grants extra infinity when your stamina remains full for 3 seconds and deactivates when you lose any amount of stamina. Now usually this skill would not be ideal on Insect Glade because you roll and jump quite a bit, but I'm sure as you guessed, thanks to Heaven Sent, we can now get this boosted affinity again with the stipulation that you don't get hit. I think this is great. Title Update 5 however was reported to be giving us a level 4 expert jewel which will come later. The expert 4 jewel will give you 10% though instead of the 20% from maximum might which means you won't have 100% affinity at some point in the hunt. So I think if you're running heaven sent with this build you might as well have maximum might because it's just giving you that extra 20% for free. After crit rate most of the necessary skills are on this build. We have max agitator with the helm plus a level 4 challenger jewel courtesy of Amatsu parts, that is also a new jewel. Attack boost is at level 4 just for the added 5% damage. Now Resentment is at level 4, I threw this in here just for the extra damage while Bloodlust is causing you to lose health. You get boosted attack as long as you have a red recoverable health. Once you recover from the Bloodlust ailment, this extra damage is lost, but you gain 20% affinity for 1 minute so it kind of balances out. Now this could change depending on your other jewels and talismans as you'll see later on. Crit boost is maxed with all three Amatsu armor pieces so you don't even have to worry about it. I think this is absolutely insane but I am all for it. Handicraft is already built into the helm and it gives you level 1 which is roughly 60 hits on a weak zone for purple sharpness. Which is pretty good honestly if you can maintain heaven sent for most of the hunt you don't have to worry about it. Otherwise if you are finding that you are getting hit a few times and you're losing that purple sharpness in your downtime. Replace one of the resentment jewels with an extra 4 plus handicraft jewel. That'll bring you up to level 3 and that's way more than you'll ever need. Coalescence is maxed out with the use of a 4 plus jewel as well. This grants you an extra 18 plus attack every time you cleanse out bloodlust. Now normally bloodlust boosts your damage when you are infected and then it boosts affinity when you are cleansed. So here's just an example, you can see the purple bar filling up at the top, that's the infection. While it's purple you always have boosted attack. The purple meter vanishes when you are officially cleansed, you get your red recoverable health back and your affinity is boosted by 20%. This is when Coalescence kicks in and for 1 minute you have extra damage from Coalescence plus the extra affinity. I also have Power Prolonger 2 from my 4 plus jewel. The Amatsu armor has so many 4 plus slots that it's absolutely fantastic. I also have one level 1 poison attack just to synergize with my current Lucent Narga blade which also has poison. Mail of Hellfire is present on the waist which grants extra physical attack damage when you are on the red scroll. I have a level 1 burst skill on my weapon as well which grants an extra attack after 5 hits on the monster. It's a very nice skill for ground inside glaive. Aerial inside glaive especially if you're using kinsec slash it may be a little bit more worrisome depending on how often you get the attacks but for ground inside glaive for sure burst skill is absolutely fantastic. Now finally I want to discuss the talisman which I'm currently using. It is a new talisman and this is one of the biggest changes to the set. This new talisman gives me level 1 bloodlust and 3 extra 2 slots to fit in 2x and 1 attack jewel. Now there are quite a few talismans that grant this much space so slotting in 2x and 1 attack is very doable. Bloodlust however might be a little harder to roll on a talisman. So if you don't have this you'll have to change up your build a little bit and you're going to actually have to defeat Risen Shigaru Magala, the other new monster that came with title update 5. Beating Shigaru unlocks a new waste for you that grants level 1 bloodlust and 2 wex which is freaking fantastic. The same jewels I have on the scorn Magnamala waste will transfer over and then you can use any talisman you want as long as you add a level 1 attack jewel. The downside of course is that you lose the boosted damage from Mail of Hellfire but I think that's okay because Choreo Crafting is going to change things up yet again. And that just about sums up the new armor set guys. It is a temporary armor set until you reach the final levels of the anomaly ranks and add in some Choreo Crafting but it's a great utilization of the two new monsters. So I hope this helps you guys out. Leave a comment on your thoughts of the new Heaven Sent skill and armor recommendations for everyone else. 
I will do my best to have an updated Quario and new jewels build out later this week, so be sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and keep hunting. Sky Sensei is out.